you want, always want in the family, you want a banker, a lawyer, and a doctor. Well, I guess one out of three isn't bad. <laughs> um, but I guess on nights like tonight, it's always good to have a speechwriter in the family. So I guess that's why Jeff asked me to give his remarks and give a toast for him tonight. Um, when Jeff asked me when we were walking in Washington, D.C., when he and he Rachel came out to visit, um, he asked me if I would give a speech at his wedding. And all immediately, thoughts of his childhood, or thoughts of our childhood together, started to flash through my head. I could have talked about the time I broke his nose, <laughs> the time he played softball in a bright green cast, the time we couldn't get Bonnie to shift out of third gear, Bonnie and Bonnie made his first car, um, or the road trip that the family took coming back from New Hope, Pennsylvania. It was the longest trip of our life. <laughs> if you ever want to hear that story, come talk to me later. It's not really good for public consumption. <laughs> but instead, I didn't want to really embarrass Jeff tonight. I wanted to focus on what makes him really well suited to be Rachel's husband. You see, each man has a point in his life when, you're gonna, when you see what kind of example he's going to be for those around him. For Jeff, you might think it was when he decided to marry Rachel. You can make the case that Jeff's turning point came when he decided he wanted to be a chiropractor. Or, for my very Protestant family, the most egregious sin, when he decided to become Catholic. <laughs> But Jeff and I share a bond that many siblings in my life have experienced, so I know better. Growing up, we had the privilege of sharing a bedroom. Speaking from my own experience, I saw the kind of man Jeff was going to be all the way back in 1993. You see, that was the year that Boomer Esiason was traded from the Bengals to the Jets. <laughs> Seemingly overnight, the orange and black that had dominated our room for so many years changed to green and white. Jeff's idea of dedication and loyalty, even to Boomer, continued to be a leading principle in his life. Speaking as his brother and his friend, I had experienced his loyalty, respect, dedication like none other. His life was built on these principles, and his life continues to be blessed, just as we've seen today. Rachel, Greg, and I would like to officially welcome you to this motley crew known as the Elmore family. <laughs> And I cannot promise you that our adventure as a family will always be as smooth and as beautiful as the day we share together today. But I can guarantee you that Jeff will always support you, always serve as your advocate, and always remain loyal. Cheers to your years ahead and, uh, as husband and wife, and may the new year hold blessings in store for all of us. Yeah.